The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Yahweh spoke to Ahaz again and said, Ask Yahweh your God for a sign, either in the depths of Sheol or in the heights above. But Ahaz said, I will not ask. I will not put Yahweh to the test. He then said, Listen now, house of David. Are you not satisfied with trying human patience that you should try my God's patience too? The Lord will give you a sign in any case. It is this. The young woman is with child and will give birth to a son whom she will call Emmanuel. In our response, it's taken from Psalm 40. Then I said, here I am, I am coming. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, my delight is to do your will. Your law, my God, is deep in my heart. I proclaimed the saving justice of Yahweh in the great assembly. See, I will not hold my tongue, as you well know. I have not kept your saving justice locked in the depths of my heart, but have spoken of your constancy and saving help. I've made no secret of your faithful and steadfast love in the great assembly. You, Yahweh, have not withheld your tenderness from me. Your faithful and steadfast love will always guard me. And our second reading is taken from the letter to the Hebrews. Bull's blood and goat's blood are incapable of taking away sins. And that is why he said on coming into the world, you wanted no sacrifice or cereal offering, but you gave me a body. You took no pleasure in burnt offering or sacrifice for sin. Then I said, here I am, I am coming. In the scroll of the book it is written of me to do your will, God. He says, first, you did not want what the law lays down as the things to be offered. That is the sacrifices, the cereal offerings, the burnt offerings, and the sacrifices for sin. And you took no pleasure in them. And then he says, here I am. I am coming to do your will. He is abolishing the first sort to establish the second. And this will for us to be made holy by the offering of the body of Jesus Christ, made once and for all. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, you who enjoy God's favor. The Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Look, you are to conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about, since I have no knowledge of man? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. And so the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. And I tell you this too, your cousin Elizabeth also, in her old age, has conceived a son. And she whom people call barren is now in her sixth month, for nothing is impossible to God. Mary said, you see before you the Lord's servant. Let it happen to me as you have said. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord.